play of last season. How much did that play in that one-on-one against Coburn kind of drive you in this offseason? How much just how hungry are you to get back at those guys and have another shot at them? Yeah, I mean, obviously when your season ends, you always think about the last game because it's just the last imprint, um, you know, on your mind. And obviously that game was, you know, a great game. You know, we we kind of got down in a hole and got down a little bit, but we fought back and got ourselves back in the game. Um, and, you know, a lot of players made some key plays down the stretch. Connor was really good. Bakari Evelyn hit. Uh, Evelyn hit a really good three uh, in the corner to put us back in that game. So, you know, it, it was a tough one. And obviously it coming down to the last shot um, and me not being able to, you know, get a good shot off. You know, we didn't have that much time. But, you know, it, it definitely is something that sticks in your head. And, and you know, what could I have done better? You know, could I have made a better move or whatever the case may be? Um, um, so, you know, but, you know, we're just really, you know, excited for this matchup. We know you know, how important this game is to us. And, you know, like, like I always say, the next game is the most important game on our schedule. So, you know, we're really focused and we're, we're going to try to stick to the game plan and execute the game plan to the best of our abilities. Tom Baker. Luca, what have you seen from Coburn in terms of his development this year? And what's, what's he kind of, what's he going to challenge you with uh, on Friday night? You know, obviously he's just very physically dominant. You know, he's, he's really good on the glass. He's He's been blocking shots. You know, he's, he's doing a, a lot what he did last year, but, you know, even even better than he was last year. And he's finishing better and, and you know, making better moves. Obviously, he's very efficient and shooting the ball at an extremely high level. Um, so, you know, that's, you know, you, it's, it's awesome to see a guy continue to work hard and, and, and develop his game. So, you know, for me, um, you know, I think it's it's always, for me as a competitor, I always want to play against the best. Um, so, you know, I, I'm very excited to, for this matchup, you know, he's, he's a really, really good player. Um, and, and I think, you know, uh, you know, I think we, we both have had some battles, um, you know, especially last year. But, you know, I'm excited for this one. Nick Brown. Luca, what, what is the value of being on the floor with two other 1,000-point scores, first of all? And then second of all, um, what would it mean to you personally to lead the nation in scoring? Um, I think, you know, obviously it means the world to me to have my teammates, um, you know, right there by me who can score the ball at the level that they do and have done in their careers. And, you know, C.J. Frederick is going to be right there um, in, a, in a couple of years. So, um, you know, it's very, it's awesome. Um, you know, I'm really lucky to have the teammates that I do um, and, and to share the floor with Jordan Bohan and Joe Wieskamp. And for me, you know, honestly, um, you know, obviously, you know, that would be, um, an accomplishment, but for me, you know, that's not really, you know, what I go into the game focusing on. You know, I just, I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to help my team win. And you know, at the end of the day, if I lead the scoring, I think, um, you know, I think in the future that's something that I'm going to look back on and be proud of. But you know, right now, you know, I, I came back to this team and, and this university to, to win, um, and that's my main focus. But you know, it, it definitely would would be a special accomplishment. Jeff Beecham. Hey, Luca, how hard was it to have, you know, that eight-game difference in between the Illinois game and the Indiana game, especially coming off that loss? But did you see that the team bounced back and that the mentality was right in practice? Uh, definitely. You know, I think, you know, it's obviously tough when you don't have a, you know, quick, you know, two-day prep into a next game. Um, but, you know, I think for us, it allowed us some time to, to work on ourselves and, and to continue, continue to improve. And, and I think we've done that. Um, and I think, you know, especially for guys like C.J. Frederick, you know, that time off is huge for our team. You know, we need those guys to get healthy. So giving them as much time as they can um, is definitely, you know, essential. So, you know, I think, you know, um, obviously, you know, me as a competitor, I would have liked to play, you know, right after the game ended, you know, put up another 40 minutes on the board. But, you know, that's not how the game works. Um, so, you know, I think... Um, you know, it, it gave some time, and, and, and I think practice has been really good and, 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 and focus. and I'm really proud of our guys, and we're going to continue to do that, um, you know, today and tomorrow, um, just to try to improve ourselves as much as we can before we go against one of the best teams in the country um, in, in Illinois. Mark Emmert. Yeah, Luca. Uh, when the schedule came out, a lot of fans were kind of upset that Iowa and Illinois were only going to play once. Did you notice that too? Was that something that you thought about, and were you kind of regretting that that, that was the way it was? Um, you know, I think you always want to play 
you know, the you know the best teams in your conference, you know, twice, especially in the Big Ten race. You know, uh, you you want to be able to beat them as many times as you can. Um, so, I think you know, uh, you know, I think our when the schedule came out, you know, obviously was looking at all the games. It wasn't really a focus of mine that we only played them once. Um, you know, I, I'm just. You know, thankful we have the opportunity to play them, um, and, and everybody's doing their jobs to be healthy and make a, make sure we're out there to play. Um, so, you know, I'm I'm just excited about the matchup. You know, I, I think, you know, there's obviously we could play them, you know, a couple more times. You know, obviously in the Big Ten tournament and you know and beyond that. You know, they're 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 a really really good team. So we could see them again. Um, so for me, you know, our, our focus isn't on anything else but you know being able to go down into Champaign and, and execute the game plan to to the best of our abilities. Chad Hi, Luca. Um, just listening to Connor, I mean, didn't, he didn't sound too optimistic that CJ was going to play on, on Friday. What have you guys learned, I guess? Uh, you know, you played without him, I think, five games last year and obviously a half the other day. What have you learned about yourselves that, that it can help you in these situations if you don't have him on the floor? You know, I think, you know, um, you know our, our team has dealt with injuries, you know, from different guys at different points, you know, throughout my whole career. And I think it's always a next man up mentality, and we know what we have to do, and, and we're going to try to, you know, if he doesn't play, you know, I obviously I have no idea, uh, you know, I'm not our, I'm not our trainer, um, I don't know how he feels, um, so I know he's he's been taking his time and trying to to get back out there. Uh, he's a guy who who wants to be out there as bad as anybody, and I know it's killing him. Um, you know, they wasn't able to play in the second half against Indiana, um, but you know, for us, you know, we. With the guys we have, we know we got to go out there and, and do what we do. And I think, you know, obviously it would be, it would be awesome to have, you know, uh, you know, one of the best shooters in the country, you know, uh, out there. But if we don't, you know, we're going to go out there and play as hard as we can, and, and we're going to have other guys step up and, and and be able to help us win. You know, we we did that at Rutgers. You know, we lose Connor McCaffrey, in early in the first half, and and we have other guys step up and in, into that role and, and and perform. And obviously last year. You know, we had we had Jabo who got hurt, and obviously CJ was hurt at different points. Um, so, you know, we 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 are a team that understands that you know it's a next man up mentality, and we're a deep team. We have got a lot of guys who are ready um, to step up into that moment. But you know, I, I obviously our focus is you know for him just to try to get back and healthy whenever he can, and and not to rush it. Jarek, go ahead. And Luca, with the way last season ended and then sort of mixed with a tough loss against Indiana, and now you're squaring off against Illinois in, in conference rival when you're both ranked. Are there some, are there more external motivations for you guys heading into this game, and is it sort of tough treating it as business as usual? Um, you know, I think, you know, every game in the Big Ten, you have to come prepare with a mindset uh, to beat anybody. And, and, you know, we obviously, you know, didn't have that mindset when we played Indiana, and we weren't able to win that game. So I think... You know, for our team, we understand that you know each game, um, you know, is, is the most important game on, on our schedule. So we know that we have to focus and be able to go out there and execute our game plan in, in, in a building that's hard to play in um, and against you know one of the best teams in the country. So we understand what we have to do. Um, you know, I think you know if you if you're not motivated to play this game, um, you know, there's something wrong with you. So I think our our whole team is is ready and excited. I think on, on both sides, you know, we got some competitive guys and, and guys who are excited for this matchup. So, you know, um, I think, you know, we're, we're going to continue to practice and, and, and get better and, and get as, uh, you know, prepared as we can be. Uh, but, you know, we're definitely excited for the opportunity uh, to go against, you know, such a great team. And Mike Watts? Luca, are you glad that uh, Kofi and Ayu came back for this season? Definitely, you know, like I said, um, I'm a competitor and I, and I want to play against the best. So, you know, I'm never going to be sitting there rooting for them to leave so I don't have to play them. You know, I, I, I don't dodge anybody. And I, I was excited when they both came back. You know, I, I think it's, it's good for our league. Um, you know, it's good to just show everybody why the Big Ten is the best league in the country. Um, and, 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 you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited. You know, it, it's, it's, it's a great thing to have these guys back and, and all the players who came back in our league. It, it's just made it a very fun year, um, and it's going to make it an incredible matchup. Um, so it, it definitely was something I was excited about, um, just to get the chance to compete against these guys, you know, again, 